What's the most creepily intelligent thing your pet has ever done? I woke up one summer morning to a flooded basement. My dad was yelling at me that I had left the outdoor faucet running which caused the flood. Spent hours and lots of money cleaning it up. Come to find out my dog. After watching me use the faucet. Figured out how to turn it on. We only found this out because one day my dad heard someone cranking on the faucet. And when he looked into the yard. My boxer's mouth was around the valve. Twisting her head like a confused puppy until it turned on. She never did figure out how to turn it off though. Not my pet but the dog of a farmer in my grandma's town that recently had given birth to puppies. When we were strolling around by the farm we saw the dog and said to her. Hey. Show us your puppies. Next thing we know. The dog ran around the farm and came back with all her cute little puppies and let us play with them. What a wonderful day. My friend's dog knows he's not allowed onto one very specific carpeted area in the house and he knows never to step onto that area. How does he like to be a smartest about it? He grabs his favorite toy. Casually tosses it onto a said carpeted area. Looks at us. And gives us the well my toy's there and I have to step onto the carpet to get it. He does it so slowly and so deliberately that you know he's being a complete smartest about it. I can't help but laugh every time he does it which is not often. He typically does it when he's desperate for our play because he knows he'll get a laugh and a positive reaction out of it. My dad has always had problems with throwing his back out and it usually makes him unable to move for several weeks. Anyways. One time when he threw out his back. My dog grabbed a blanket in her mouth and slowly spread it over my dad while he was sleeping. Woke me up and brought me outside to under the deck. Where he very obviously showed me the cat that got out and was hiding under there. He looked at the cat. Then back at me. Then at the cat. Then back at me. When I was younger I lost a watch that I really loved. Around that time my cat developed a habit of using his front paws to reach under the fridge and just scramble around under there like crazy. He was seriously obsessed and did that for almost a year. Until one night he pulled out a tray that had been under the fridge. And on it was my watch. After that he never touched the fridge again. He was a good boy. My cat is diabetic. About a month ago he had to start insulin twice daily. I have an auto feeder which goes off every 12 hours and gives a proportioned meal. Since I work early in the morning the first meal goes off at 5am. Half an hour after he eats he gets his insulin. He is a good boy and sits very still while I give him his needle. Every time I tell him good boy. And give him a quick once over with his favorite brush. On my day off I forgot to set my alarm for his insulin. At 5. 30 he jumped right up on my chest and patted my face every so gently until I got out of bed. He immediately ran right to the fridge and sat down, where the insulin is, waiting for his first brushing. Good boy knows he is a good boy. There was a time when. Coming back from a trip. The balls of my feet were swollen and it hurt going up and down the stairs. My cat. That little shti. Would actually imitate me by limping up and down the stairs, taking the steps one at a time, while meowing pitifully. I swear if he could talk, he would have said something like see. This is how stupid you look. Edit. Whoa. My first gold. Thank you. Kind stranger. I actually have a story for this. I taught my dog to play hide and seek. I made him sit in the kitchen while I hid a rawhide somewhere in the house. He would then search until he found it and would then bring it back to me. I would then tell him to hide it and he would. One day I was searching for the damn rawhide for like 10 minutes and could not find it. Searched everywhere. Eventually I had to give up totally confused. Next morning I open a dresser drawer to get a pair of shorts and there it is. He saw a slightly cracked drawer. Dropped it in. Closed it. And outsmarted a human. I was very proud. Edit. Typos. Typos everywhere. My cousin had a koi fish pond and two dogs. One night the dogs started barking during the middle of the night really loud and urgently. And they almost never bark at anything. My cousin and her parents knew something was weird and went out to check. 
one of the fish somehow managed to jump out the pond and was flopping around next to the water on the concrete. And one dog was trying to help it back in the water with his nose while the other was barking for my cousin or her parents to help. Once they watched them place the fish in the water. They went back in the kennels to sleep. They would watch the pond a lot from then on. While at the park playing fetch. My dog spotted a squirrel and took off after it into the woods. I couldn't find her for the life of me so my mom and I started driving around to look for her and checking our home voicemail every 10 minutes in case someone found her and called the number on her tags. Two hours go by and we decide to go home to eat before continuing our search. Turns out she walked the 3 miles back home from the park and snuck under the backyard deck and up the deck stairs and was waiting at the back door for us upon our return. That smart bitch. Still love her though. My 13 pounds ginger cat always had to be near me. Some of the doors in my house didn't latch. And he learned to open them by using his body as a battering ram. Okay. Fine. So one day I'm in a closed room with a door that does latch. And I hear the doorknob rattle. It rattles for a bit then turns. And the cat pops the door open with his weight and saunters in. I miss him. Realizing she can use her nose to open the metal popcorn tin. I watched my Australian Shepherd problem solve how to get her tennis balls that get stuck under the furniture out by taking another tennis ball and rolling it to knock the stuck one out. She seemed very pleased with herself. My dog tried this once. Then she had no tennis balls. I was in my closet getting dressed. And my Doberman came. Obviously wanting me to follow him. I did. In a hurry. And found my kid with a handful of screws that someone. One of the decorators probably. Had left in the bay window. She was about to put them in her mouth. Kid was too. That was the best dog. Edited for lost words. Not mine. I my mother had two cats in Hawaii before I was born. She would tell stories about how one. Epo was very intelligent. And the other. Popoki. Was as dumb as a bag of rocks. Made a great pair. She would talk about how they'd be playing out back and she would call them in for dinner. Epo would immediately show up. But Popoki would be lost in her very small backyard. She would just look at Epo and say. Epo. Go get Popoki. And Epo would run out and guide Popoki into the house into his food dish so that he could have dinner. Same sort of thing if she had no idea where Popoki was. She would just tell Epo to find him. And Epo would go search the house and bring Popoki to her. Edit. Misspelled Epo and Popoki as Epo and Popoki because I cannot Hawaiian. Rock and a rocking chair. I thought my living room was haunted for weeks. He has to take antibiotics for 10 days they are pills. In the beginning. I was wondering why he wasn't getting better. Turns out. The arsehole was keeping them in his cheek or under his tongue and spitting them out under the closet. So now I hold him until he swallows and then I check his mouth. It's really one of those times I wish I could explain to him why I am also torturing him with eye drops and painkillers and whatnot. You are a senior kitten and you have a severe cold. Stop spitting things out. On the other hand. He has never scratched or bitten me. Just struggles and pulls away. He is a very sweet cat. If I called my girlfriend at around 9pm on a Friday. My dog would always get excited and head to the truck. I was stationed in Shanghai for about a year. But lived for years in Thailand with my GF and my dog. Whenever I had a long weekend I'd fly back to Thailand. My dog quickly picked up on the idea that whenever my GF switched from speaking Thai to English. She was talking to me. I would call her when I arrived at the airport on a Friday evening. As it was only about 15 minutes from our home. And she'd come pick me up. My dog was able to put this whole scenario together and went HT whenever I called on a Friday evening and he would immediately head for the truck to go pick me up. When I would call her at other hours of the day. He would look at her like he knew who she was talking to. But he knew that it didn't mean that I was coming home. My cat can open doors. She understands that turning to knob unlatches the door. It takes her a few tries. But she does it all the time now. 
getting into the office where she isn't allowed. I have also found her cat toy stash. I have no idea why. Fake to have a paw injury so I'd carry him around the house. One of my cats used to fake a limp. Everyone was utterly convinced it was real. But I caught him. He was charging up the stairs full tilt. Then he saw me. And limp. And limp. I'm on to you cat. I went to the toilet and found my cat in there having a shti. I'm surprised he wasn't reading the FK newspaper. Sometimes my cat and I share special moments in the toilet. During which we're both shting. What makes it especially special is that he makes eye contact the whole time. Had a budgie. Basil. He was cool. He would always sit on my shoulder and sleep while watching TV. If ever my flatmate and I were chilling on the couch. He would fly from me to her. Land on her shoulder. Do a shti and then fly back to me. Basil never liked Claire much. My dog once started barking at the door. Like someone was about to knock or come in. While I was eating. I got up to see who was there and it was no one. I went back and some of my food was on the ground. Being shared by the dog and two cats. I think one of the cats knocked some off. So they worked together as a team to steal my food. I had a cat once who knew that to get water from the faucet in the sink she would tap on the handle, not the faucet, and look at me. If she had opposable thumbs she would have turned it herself. Other cats would just look at the faucet and wait. She also would leap on her brother if he started to scratch the edge of the sofa. To get him to stop. Knowing it was not allowed. She also not only recognized herself in the mirror, but would use it to groom the hair on her back that she couldn't see otherwise. Your cat was so effing smart it passed the mirror test. Damn. My dog has epilepsy. So he has to take a pill every morning. I broke it in half and put it in his food and let go at it. Checked a few minutes later and I see the bowl is completely empty except for one of the halves left in the center. I walked into the living room where he was. Looked at him and said forget something. As a joke. He looked at me. Got up. Went back to his bowl and ate the pill in front of me. That FK knows what's up. I have a chocolate lab and a black cat. My dog loves tennis balls. My cat doesn't want my dog to be happy. So he would sit on her tennis balls like a chicken hatching an egg. One morning I was getting ready for work and my dog is barking at my cat because he's sitting on her tennis ball. I thought. Alright asshole. That's it. Comma. And I went to the closet. Got three cans of tennis balls. Opened them and tossed them around the apartment. My cat seemed unmoved as my dog yelped in glee at her newly found fortune. I left for work. When I got back home that evening I hear my dog barking in the dining room. When I get there I see all ten tennis balls in the corner. Guarded by my cat and my dog barking at him. He looked me in the eyes as if to say. FCKU. I win again. My dog was kinda just trotting alongside me when he got an itch on his butt. Without stopping his run. He reached his head all the way back and started nibbling the itchy spot. So for about 10 paces. His back feet were running forward and his front feet were running backward. My brother was sitting at the table eating cake when he hears our dog barking at the front door. He gets up to check it out, usually means someone is about to ring the doorbell, and then our dog sprints back to the unsupervised cake and eats it all in one bite. My cat. Tuffy stole a piece of bread off of the stove and put it in the floor next to the cabinet. She then stared at it intensely. And motionlessly for an hour. We thought that was creepy. Then a mouse came out from behind the cabinet to get the bread and she pounced it. She was using the bread as moth earth king bait. This is the same cat who routinely burns her tongue licking light bulbs. Hisses at them. And keeps licking. I had friends round and one of them brought fudge. Cats were interested but got chased off it a couple of time. They wait for attention to shift to something else. Little cat goes into the middle of the group of friends. Acts all cute causes a distraction. While bigger cat gets on the table. Knocks down the fudge. Little cat quietly moves on and then joins her brother eating fudge. 
proper teamwork. That not only used their individual strengths but exploited our weaknesses. Impressed. My cat pooped in our toilet once. He didn't flush though. I don't know if it's creepy as such but it's very intuitive. I've struggled with depression and CPTSD for years and every morning as my husband leaves for work he tells the dogs goodbye. And he tells my dog. An Australian Kelpie called Sterling. To look after me. His border collie ex. Daphne. Can't be told to do anything so she doesn't give a shti. But wherever I am. Sterling makes sure to watch me. If I'm inside the house. He will pick the spot on the veranda that is closest to where I am in the house. If I'm gardening or in the chicken coop. He is never far away. When I hand out the laundry to dry he sits at my feet. When I ride my horses out on trails. He's only a few steps behind. Even when Daphne gets bored and goes home to cause trouble. But if my husband is home. Sterling takes a day off and will do the obnoxious stuff that Daphne delights in every day. It's as if he feels he does not need to protect me when my husband is home. My cat was sitting on the front porch sunning herself one day. And my dad walks outside to do some yard work. He tells her to make herself useful and go catch a mouse or something. And walks off. My mom confirmed she heard my dad say this through the open window near the porch. Close bracket. A short while later. My dad is passing through the front yard. And sees the cat laying in the grass with her front legs outstretched in front of her. Upon closer inspection. She's got something clamped between her front paws. It was a mouse. Not a pet but I recall as a kid. We were playing treasure hunts. The clue had me in an area with a phone box and a few bushes. There was a cute black and white cat nearby. And for the crick. I asked the cat, where's the next clue? And no word of a lie. The cat looked at the bush and appeared to nod towards it. Check the bush and indeed. There was the next clue. That cat has lived in my memory for around 20 years now. My cat randomly started peeing into the toilet. No one ever taught her. I just heard trickling in the bathroom one day and. Upon investigating. Found her squatting on the seat. She was very confused when there was nothing for her to scratch over. Though. This happened twice that I witnessed. But after that we moved and she does not seem to have picked it up with the toilet and the new place. Edit. Also there was the time when my new housemate was moving in and this same cat was so excited she started climbing the curtains in his room. I walked in. Saw her and said something to the effect of come on now. You know better than that. I fully expected it to have no effect whatsoever and I would have to go and pry her off. But damned if she didn't give me a sheepish look over her shoulder and start to clamber down. My new housemate. Who was there to witness this miracle. Had to pick his jaw up off the floor. My dog would escape the house at night. Stroll to a nearby cafe and beg for food before coming back in the morning sitting outside the gate smiling like an idiot while we opened it. We only found out about his exploits because someone eventually brought him back from the cafe. He would know when to cross roads also as he never got hit once. Eventually he became senile and would wait outside the wrong house so we just made extra sure to keep him indoors. Before anyone says my family is shti at keeping animals because he keeps running. We do walk them twice a day. He's just an extremely inquisitive creature who loves food. He knew the route because that's where we walk him and was always learning how to escape. Whether it be undoing a door latch. Squeezing through places we thought was impossible or climbing. I had a really bad day and was in my room crying. My cockatiel Stormageddon started screaming from his cage so I got him out. He jumped onto my shoulder and put his head on my cheek and started saying it's okay it's okay it's okay over and over again. I say that to him when he freaks out in his cage at night time. A car honks a horn outside and he starts screaming and flapping his wings. I didn't realize he could tell I was sad and say it back to me to comfort me like I comfort him let alone say it at all.